morning. It is January 23rd and it is eight o'clock. I am on my way to get COVID tested, which sucks. <laughs> I'm going to get COVID tested because all week I had a sore throat and I thought it was my sinuses. I thought I was okay. I thought it was fine. It's, it, I thought it was nothing. It was my. I thought it was my sinuses because you know allergy season's coming up. Weather's changing, so I'm like, okay, I'm fine. Until last night, I had really bad chills. I mean, really bad chills. I was in my bed last night, shaking like a crackhead, asking for another cover to put on top of the cover that I sleep in because I was that cold. I was like, okay, why am I shaking like a crackhead? Why do I feel like this? And then I thought about it, I was like, okay, chills is a symptom for COVID. And then after that, when I woke up this morning, my whole entire body felt tired. And I mean tired. It was aching. I didn't want to move. And I was like, okay, I am very scared. <laughs> I am very worried because that's also a sign of symptoms. That's also a symptom of COVID. Um, fatigue, body aches, muscle aches. I was like, oh God, okay, okay. Now I was like, okay, I'm gonna go to my job, consult with the nurse there to see what I should do because I was supposed to work today. Like I was supposed to train this new girl who um, was gonna be working with me. I was supposed to train her and I was like, okay, I need to find out, figure out what I need to do. If it is COVID, I want to know so that I can keep my distance from my family. I have a 93-year-old grandma, my 93-year-old grandma that lives with us. And I'm, I'm freaking scared. <laughs> um, I don't want my family to catch it. And I was like, okay, I'm going to go find out, see what um, I should do if I have it or not. So I'm on my way to get COVID tested and it's supposed to be the rapid testing. I was told to go early because the rapid tests go quickly. So I'm gonna get COVID tested with the rapid test. And what that rapid test is supposed to do is tell me within like an hour or 24 hours whether I'm positive or negative. Cause I don't wanna wait three to five days to find out. Some people act like this is a joke and it's fine you know but like I'm scared I don't want to catch it and bring it to my family that's not what I want to do I live with old I live with elderly people I live with my 93 year old grandma and my parents who are in their 50s and they have tons of complications like health complications and I don't want them to catch this and, and pass because I will literally blame myself for the rest of my life and cry I don't want my sister to catch it because she has bronchitis and asthma and all this. He's like me, we both have asthma. I don't care about my life, I care about my family's life. And I don't like putting, I don't want to put them in danger, you know? So I'm gonna get tested, I'm gonna do the rapid testing because I need to find out. So yeah. I figured I'd record this, talking to you guys letting you guys know what the 911 is. I know I'm in the car and I should probably take off my mask, but I don't even feel like doing that because I'm, I'm bullshit scared. Like I am terrified, you guys. My body is cold. I am cold. My head is killing me. I hope it's not COVID. My dad thinks it's sinuses and I'm praying that it's sinuses because if it's COVID, I'm, I'm bawling. I'm staying the hell away from everyone. I'm not even going anywhere. I'm not even gonna use the bathroom. I'm gonna pee in a bucket. My showers are gonna be water bottles and, and, and soap that I have in my room. I'm like, just my luck. If I have COVID, after we just got the vaccines done at my job, if I have COVID, I'm gonna fucking cry. Two weeks later. Good morning, guys. It is February 1st. I am double masked. 
I am going to go get retested. I did not vlog my whole experience with COVID because your girl was, she was going through it. <laughs> the last thing, I'm sorry, the last thing on my mind was recording and vlogging myself going through it. Um, I've had every symptom besides vomiting. I still can't taste much. I can't smell much. That, I've heard that's gonna be with me for a little while. Um, but, yeah. I got tested the 22nd, positive. I'm getting tested today. Hopefully it comes out negative because I really want to go back to work. I want to make more money or make money. Just make money in general. Hopefully it comes back negative. I'm praying that it does. Okay, so I'm back home. Uh, my test results came back. Um, they came back like 10 minutes, 20 minutes later after I got tested again. Um, my test results came back. I'm negative. I'm freaking negative and I'm so freaking happy. I'm, I'm excited to start working again because I missed everyone. I miss everyone and I'm ready to start socializing again. <laughs> um, I don't I don't know how I got COVID. I don't know how that happened, but it happened and I made it through it. And I'm very proud of myself and proud of my family for sticking it through with me. Thank you if they're watching this um, right now. I'm trying to clean everything. I don't want to show you my room because it looks a hot <laughs> mess. So right now I'm trying to clean my room. I have all the clothes that I feel like might be coveted that I've worn throughout the week and the last week. I stuck all my clothes in my sheets, pillows, pillowcases, and a bag and we're going to take them to the laundromat to clean them because they have giant washing machines and giant dryers so I can stick a whole giant ass bag full of clothes in there and get it done like that. <laughs> so. That's what we're going to do. Me and my sister and my dad are going to do that. But let me talk to you guys about how that week went. <laughs> so I found out that I had COVID 23rd, 22nd of January. That week, I've had headaches. And I thought my headaches were nothing. I, Cause you know, it's sinuses and when it rains in Florida or when it rains period, my head hurts. That's how I know when it's gonna rain. Um, I've had headaches that entire week because it's been raining and I thought that's what that was. But then Friday night, uh, around 2, 3, I had the most horrible chills that I've ever had in my entire life. I was in my bed shaking like a crackhead. I had thick covers on me. I had like 2, 3 thick <laughs> covers on me and I was still shivering. That's how I knew something was up. And I was like, okay. Maybe I'm just cold, but like, I feel like something's wrong. I'm scared something's wrong. And then the next, and then after that, I went to sleep. The next morning, I woke up because I had to go to work at like 6.30. So I woke up around like 4 or 5. I normally wake up around 3 to prepare myself to go to work. I woke up at 4 or 5-ish to go to work. And I could not get up. And I mean, I could not stand up, move my body for the life of me. I was tired. I was drained. My mind felt like it was drained. My body was drained. It was, my body felt tired. Like I did a really extreme workout the day before, tired. And I'm like, oh God, I've never felt this way in my entire life. I mean, I have never felt that way. <laughs> so that morning I knew something was wrong. I told them, I was like, hey, so I think I'm experiencing some COVID symptoms. She immediately told me that I need to leave and that's what I did. I left and I got tested that same, that same morning. And 10, 20 minutes later, my results came back as positive. When I tell you, did I ball? I started panicking, crying, trying to figure out, oh my God, what do I do? Cause like when I first heard about COVID, I didn't want to like even I was so cautious. I was literally spraying Lysol and bringing Lysol wipes to work. I wasn't touching anything without gloves or Lysol spray, Lysol wipes, nothing. Hand sanitizer, I always had all that. I was very cautious. I did not keep myself at home 
because I heard that if you do that, it's not building up your immune system for that, you know, like to prepare yourself for that. So I did not keep myself at home as much as um, some people would do, like they'll stay home 24-7, not even go to work, not even go anywhere, grocery shopping, anything, which I will say, I don't even know how I caught it. <laughs> But when I found out, I was panicking, I was crying, and I was like, oh my god, I'm about to bring COVID into my house with my parents who are in their 50s with tons of health problems, and my 93-year-old grandma, 94 now, her birthday happened Thursday, I missed it because I, I was stuck in this room with COVID, her birthday happened Thursday, so she's 94 now. <laughs> I was bringing COVID in the house with my parents and my grandma and my sisters and I was completely worried about that. So when I found out that I was positive, called my dad, told him, hey, so you guys might want to back away from the door when I come in, put your mask on. And he's like, why? What's going on? I test, I told him I tested positive for COVID and he's like, oh man. It was bound to happen. It was going to happen. We just didn't know when it was going to happen. The main thing that I was worried about was my asthma. Because I'm like, I heard COVID messes with your lungs. But I was really worried about my family because I didn't want to bring that in here. So I told them, told my dad, and my dad told my mom. But like, I immediately came to the door. Didn't even touch the door knobs with my bare hands. Like, I had Lysol wipes. I had my hands with the Lysol wipes. The wipes touched the door instead of my hand. <laughs> Like, I was being cautious while coming into this room. I immediately came in and started crying again. <laughs> it was just a whole crying fest that day. Um, so, that happened that Saturday. Sunday, it was more so of them getting everything for me because I immediately started isolating myself in this room. Did not step out unless it had to go to the bathroom. And even then, I was cleaning up after myself, back and forth in the bathroom, in the bathroom. They made arrangements for that bathroom to be solely mine. Sunday, Monday, was when my parents went, my family went and got tested. My sisters came back negative, and then my parents and my grandma came back negative. And I, I was so happy about that, you guys. My heart was happy. <laughs> I was like, okay, great. Um, they created this whole system of, there's a stool outside of my room, so whenever they bring me stuff, they sit on a stool back away. I open the door, get it, and they spray that stool, spray the area around it, which the hall in that stool is covered in bleach. Um, so that was that experience that week. It was crazy. But let me tell you guys, the first symptom that I got was headaches, then chills. The headaches, I want to say, started around Wednesday. The chills started Friday night. Saturday morning was when I got nausea fatigue, body aches, headaches. I had the whole thing Saturday. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then around like Friday and up, that's when my symptoms slowly started dying down. And then Sunday, I felt nothing, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna get tested Monday, which is today. So I got my test, came back negative. That's the whole COVID symptom, the whole COVID process for me. <laughs> but I am blessed and lucky to be alive right now because that thing has started up my asthma so many times my inhaler wasn't helping I called my doctor you know to see if I could get something else she still gave me another inhaler I guess because I I, don't, I mean I don't have nebulizer or anything like that I, I need one <laughs> but that 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 was crazy I could not breathe the whole week I was scared to sleep some nights it was that bad because I'm like oh god what if I go to sleep and nobody can hear me wheezing and struggling you know. <laughs> right now I am patiently waiting for her to finish her class so that I can go so that we can go. You guys should let me know if you want to see like a haul, a small haul because I've been shopping like the week before. I had headaches in the week before any of, any of this shit started. <laughs> I've been shopping all throughout December and all throughout January. And I've been dying to show you guys what I got. So let me know if you want me to do a little try on haul, a little haul of something. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to just end it. My stomach hurts right now. 
from a situation that I'm going through right now that I cannot mention because you guys might think it's something else that's bad or think it's something horrible. It's not something I can fix. <laughs> um, but I'm going to end this vlog. So, yeah. See you later. <laughs>